Ladies and gentlemen, on the basis of these trends, the management of the CBN has sought and obtained the approval of President Muhammad Buhari to redesign and circulate this new series of banknotes at 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira levels. In a press conference on Wednesday, the 26th of October 2022, the CBN, the Central Bank of Nigeria, stated that they will redesign the 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1000 Naira notes. These current notes are going to be phased out by January in a process called demonetization. What does this mean for you as a Nigerian and what does this mean for the Nigerian economy? Why does CBN want to redesign these currencies now? Here are some reasons why we think so and some thoughts. Hey guys, it's Visara here and if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back to another Finance Friday episode. Please hit that like button so more people can see this analysis that we're sharing and make sense of what is happening. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So these are the facts. The CBN has stated that it is normal for countries to change their currencies every 5 to 8 years and Nigeria has only changed its currency 20 years ago. The CBN has now finalized arrangements for the new currency to begin circulation in Nigeria from the 15th of December 2022 after the president launches it officially. The 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira notes will still be legal currencies. They can circulate with the new ones until the 31st of January 2023 when they will stop being legal currencies or legal tender. The CBN also asked all deposit money banks to return these currencies back to them. They've also requested customers, all Nigerians and people who have these Naira notes to start paying it back to their bank account so that they can begin withdrawing the new currencies that will be designed from the 15th of December. This is why you must have gotten emails from your banks stating that they will be open from Monday to Saturday this period. It's anticipated that there will be long queues at the banks during this demonetization period and banks Banking halls will face quite a few challenges. To ease this process, the CBN has suspended bank charges for cash deposits. So all the facts are laid out, but why does the CBN want to redesign the Naira? The first reason highlighted was a significant hoarding of banknotes by members of the public. The statistics show that over 85% of the currency in circulation within the Nigerian economy sits outside the vaults of commercial banks. Basically, they said Nigerians are holding too much cash. At the end of September 2022, the data available to the CBN showed that 2.73 trillion Naira out of the 3.23 trillion Naira was not in commercial banks and it was held by the public. Now that is a lot of Ghana's goods. One of the CBN goals was to drive a cashless policy. Still, it didn't work out well because the currency in circulation was 1.46 trillion in December of 2015. And in September of 2022, now we have 3.23 trillion. That's 2.2 times more cash in the economy. That's a very cash-based economy. Another reason the CBN gave for this redesign was stopping the use of counterfeit money. There are stories everywhere of people giving unsuspecting POS agents fake cash in exchange for transfers. This is very hurtful for business, especially in this economy. If this demonetization by the CBN works, fraudulent people hopefully won't be able to deposit that money into banks because banks won't collect it. So now the fake money will be useless. Unfortunately for the everyday Nigerian who majorly pays bills in cash and or transacts a lot in paper money, this can have short-term adverse effects, especially considering that this is the holiday period. It is a statistical fact that more than 50% of Nigerian adults don't have bank accounts. This is a seemingly tough policy to pull off with this particular thing in mind that almost half of the country, especially the adults, don't have bank accounts. That's going to be a lot of work to get all that money in cash into the banking system. One other reason the CBN mentioned is security and corruption. The CBN thinks that terrorism, kidnapping, drug dealing and other illicit activities would be significantly minimized. The goal is that access to large volumes of money outside the banking system will begin to dry up once they become useless and once they are deposited. To counter this point, many analysts think that people might actually start buying dollars which can lead to a higher dollar price. And I think we kind of know how that is working out because in economics, as we know it, the higher the demand for something, the higher the price 
for that thing. And this is sort of what it looks like now, but we'll explain later. One other reason this demonetization was done was to reduce inflation. Inflation, you might ask. Well, unfortunately for Nigeria, we currently have a 17-year high inflation. You can see how we moved from around a near 12% inflation rate to such a high number from blocking borders to global energy problems recently. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, that number currently stands at 20.77% inflation rate in Nigeria. As we spoke about earlier, there's a lot of cash in the Nigerian economy, 85% worth to be exact. Analysts think that the CBN wants to mop up the cash in the economy so that there's more in the banking system and the CBN would then be able to control the money supply. When money supply grows faster than the economy's ability to produce goods and services, that can cause inflation. That's one of the causes of inflation. The goods and services produced are lesser than the high demand for them. Therefore, too much money is chasing too few goods, and this is called demand pool inflation. You can check out this video where I go in depth on inflation after you're done watching this one, of course. And hey, if you're finding this analysis helpful so far, you can hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it so you'll be the first to know when we post videos like this. Is it legal for the CBN to do this, especially under such short notice? I got the CBN Act of 2007, which states everything from what the CBN is meant to be doing and how they should do it. We say that the CBN has a job of ensuring monetary and price stability and issuing legal tender currency, aka they have the right to issue or create and manage a currency, which is the Naira. In section 18 as well, it says that the CBN is the only one that can print money or decree anything to become money. No other body in the country can do that. Right here is also the Decimal Currency Act. And in section four of this document, under subsection three, it reads that the bank shall have power on giving not less than three months notice to call in any of its notes and coins to cease to become a legal tender. What this means is that the CBN can say, hey, you see this 200 Naira note, in three months time, it will not become money. You can't spend it in Nigeria. And since they announced it at the end of October 2022, they have said that in January of 2023, these notes, this, these notes right here, they will cease to become legal tender. And they've given a three months notice. When the announcement about this redesign happened, many people didn't support this change. One very prominent person was the Minister of Finance. Two days after the announcement, she publicly distanced herself from this redesign policy. First, she said this. First of all, as a fiscal authority, we were not aware of it. It was an announcement. And secondly, uh, I think that's one of the ways that they're trying to use to manage inflation. But there are consequences that also need to be considered and how to manage those consequences. An argument is that the move may weaken the Naira, especially in the case of inflation. Was this legal for the CBN not to inform the Minister of Finance? This part seems unclear, but there are two things I noticed. First things first, the CBN board members are people who preside over major decisions like these, you know, like this redesign. The CBN has five internal board members or a committee of governors. They are the CBN governor himself as the chairman of the board and his four deputies. Then we've got the non-executive board members who are seven in number. Five of those people shall be appointed by the president, one must be the accountant general of the federation and the last one must be the permanent secretary of the federal ministry of finance. However, the minister of finance wasn't aware. So what could have happened along the line here? In the CBN Act from section 19, we see that the notes issued and designed by the central bank are subject to the president's approval on the board's recommendation. So I guess it was legal for the CBN maybe not to have informed the Ministry of Finance, I guess. All right, what has happened since this announcement has been made? Let's call this chapter Market Reactions. Well, first off, I kind of feel bad about this, but I made a video last year. I never changed this thumbnail or anything, but it was a prediction that Naira would likely pass 900 to $1. That was even for a different reason, which is still mixed into what we're facing today. You can watch that video with the card up above here or linked in the description below. You see today, Naira to the dollar has almost reached that number on the parallel market. It has crossed 870 Naira to $1. At this point, 
I have to state that the CBN has publicly declared that it does not recognize the parallel rate. So that is not the official rate. We are not working with this rate. Many of the problems I mentioned in that video from July last year still persist today. This worry has made people really concerned about how safe their funds are and policies like these and market forces make people want to invest their cash because nobody wants their money just sitting in an account that is not earning interest and is not working for them. I made a video about how you can save money fast and grow your money and how I managed to save $20,000 in six months. That video is also linked here. You see, the app I use to help me reach some savings and investing goals is Trove. What exactly is Trove? Trove is an app that helps Africans invest in the stock market. If you're Nigerian, you can invest in the Nigerian stock market and the US stock market with separate portfolio screens, which opens up many opportunities. With this new Trove 2.0, you can create a Trove card with which you can spend globally and there are no hidden fees. Plus, it's secure and safe. You can sort your investment by themes. So what do I mean by this? You can invest in Chinese companies, you can invest in green or renewable energy companies, you can can invest in companies led by women, you can invest in Nigerian companies or Nigerian stocks, you can invest in metaverse stocks and more. For every stock you select, you can see insights and analyst ratings on buying them, selling them or holding them. You can see news relating to the stock. And one feature I really like is that you can give stocks as gifts to people. So instead of buying that iPhone 14, you can actually give people Apple stocks as a gift. So Trove is available on the Play Store on Android and the Apple App Store on your iOS devices. And when you download it with my link in the description below and or use my referral code displayed right here, you can get free stocks worth up to $50 from either Amazon, Apple, Nike, Google or Tesla. Once again, the link is in the description below and thanks to Trove for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the video. Analysts think that the redesign news might cause the devaluation of the Naira. The parallel rate has responded almost predictably to this news. We think that the CBN might need to give some time instead of just three months notice compared to a multi-year plan like some other countries have adopted. An example many people cite is the UK, which took two years to fully demonetize certain currencies, especially the ones from PayPal to Polymer. On the other hand, a worst case scenario is India, which did almost the same thing we're doing. India was removing 500 and 1000 rupee banknotes. The announcement of demonetization in India was followed by a prolonged cash shortage in the following weeks. It created a lot of economic disruptions and people seeking to even exchange their banknotes had to stand in long queues and some people even lost their lives in the rush to exchange cash. This cost India 1.5 million jobs and wiped out 1% of the Indian economy's GDP. I really hope this is not the case for Nigeria. And I'm also curious, do you guys think the CBN might even extend this deadline? What do you think the CBN could have done in this case? Is this the right time for this to be happening? Comment below what you guys think. And fun fact, I discussed with one of the deputy governors of the CBN, and here is that video. We talk about the e-Naira, we talk about cryptocurrency, the Nigerian economy, and other insightful things.